SpaceX Starlink makes a big announcement. Let's go check it out. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much once again joining me for Tea Time. Today, we have a little bit of misty morning and focus combination. That bergamot, it's so good. I hope you're joining me with your cup of tea, maybe a cup of coffee, hanging out, talking tech, talking photo, talking video. Today is the technology day. We're gonna be talking about SpaceX Starlink and an announcement that came out just recently, a couple of days ago, during a meeting, I would say, with Elon Musk and his crew and kind of came out that there was a lot of big things going on over there, really positive things. And I wanna to talk to you guys about it a little bit to give you my impression on what's going on. And I also wanna share with you my speeds. A lot of times you guys ask me in the lives, like what kind of speeds are you getting? Or you'll reach out to me through email or you'll reach out through the website or whatever. And you want to know like what kind of speeds can you expect? Now I can only give you my speeds and what I'm getting. It's going to be different for everyone. As I always say, your miles may vary, but I want to share those with you today and give you an idea of where things have come and where they are right now and hopefully where they are going. I was reading an article a short article actually over on PC Magazine and they were talking about this. I'm gonna share this with you once again, give you my commentary, but most importantly, as always down below, I wanna hear from you. What is going on with you and your Starlink? If you have it, if you don't have it, are you looking on getting it sometime soon? Are you here just to do some research? If you are, I put together a playlist for you. Check it out over here. There's about 260 plus videos specifically on SpaceX Starlink. Helpful how to's, what to do, what not to do, what to buy, what not to buy. And of course the why around all of it. So check that out after you're done watching this video. Also, if you enjoy this video, even in the least, throw it a thumbs up. That would be very helpful. Don't forget to subscribe if you are. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Click this little button over here so I go live when a new video comes out, you'll be notified of it immediately. And if you want to just say thank you for all of my hard work on this channel, this little thank you button, you can give a dollar or two if you want. If not, that's perfectly fine. Consider becoming a member of the channel. That would be even better. Also, if you haven't downloaded any of my eBooks, check them out. They are free just for you being here. Go to jchristina.com forward slash books. And finally, if you're looking for a VPN, check out Pure VPN. The nice folks over there gave us a promo code, jchristina, or you can go to the URL, jchristina.com forward slash VPN, and you will get 15 additional percent off at checkout. Now that all the housekeeping is done, let's jump right into this article, then into some commentary, and then later into comments down below, hopefully from you. It starts out by saying, user growth for SpaceX's satellite internet system, Starlink, is climbing quickly, with the service attracting 500,000 new users over the past four months. That is a half a million new clients in 120 days. <laughs> <laughs> that is just absurd. That is crazy, guys. 120 days, a half a million new customers. Man. In a new video posted on Saturday, Elon Musk reported that Starlink's global user base has reached 2.7 million users, up from 2.2 million in December. Once again, four months, an extra 500,000 customers. Man, what a business, right? What a business. Musk made the announcement in a speech dedicated to talking about SpaceX's ongoing effort to send humans to Mars and colonize the red planet. Quote, Starlink will also be very important for high bandwidth communication to and on Mars. Musk didn't say where the growth was coming from, but increasing subscriber count is crucial since he plans on using Starlink's profit to fund SpaceX's other projects, including those focused on Mars. Quote, Starlink is incredible for providing connectivity throughout the world and also paying for a lot of what we are doing here, is what he said in his speech. Musk said that Starlink satellite constellation around Earth now features over 10,000 lasers, enabling the outfitted satellites to beam data to each other in space. Very powerful. Those are communication lasers, not like pew pew lasers to like blow things up. They're communication lasers, which form this mesh network. I've talked to you guys about this in the past a lot. 
All of those satellites connected through those lasers form that mesh network just like you would have in your home. But in the home, it'll be connected through Wi-Fi. Here, instead of using any type of RF or radio frequency, they are connected through lasers. Extremely fast. Matter of fact, they talk about that in just a second here. In January, SpaceX engineers said that the lasers were already transmitting 42 petabytes of data for customers per day and helping to drive down latency while expanding Starlink's coverage around the globe. 42 petabytes. That is 42,000 terabytes. 42,000 terabytes per day. That is a ton of data that is being transacted between satellites through those 10,000 lasers. Unbelievable. Remember I used to say that this thing could one day be like an internet V2, right? A secondary non-terrestrial internet? It could definitely do that. That's all they need to do is put a knock or a couple of big COs or central offices, so to speak, right? Network operations centers in Leo, big satellites that do all of that work, that heavy lifting. I think the biggest issue there is most likely power because it takes a lot of power to be able to push all that data around and do all of that combing through the data that happens in the network operation centers where it actually transacts or manipulates that data and moves it where it needs to be. That's for a whole nother video. Anyways, I digress. Let's finish this article. In addition to serving home internet users, SpaceX is also building a cellular Starlink system to beam broadband to unmodified smartphones. I've talked to you guys about that also. On Saturday, the company successfully launched a second batch of six direct to sell satellites. That's six more, they got 12. SpaceX's VP, Michael Nichols, added that the company plans on sending 13 direct to sell Starlink satellites in the future launches, rather than just six. The company is in the midst of testing the cellular Starlink technology in the US with the goal of launching the service with T-Mobile later this year, pending, of course, who? FCC approval. What else is new, right? It's always FCC or FAA or Fish and Wildlife or someone. Huh. Anyways, so this is really good news and they show this frame and this is really cool. This is direct from SpaceX. They have on here 6,000 Starlink satellites, 10,000 Starlink space lasers and 2.7 million Starlink customers. Unbelievable, right? Absolutely unbelievable. They're doing a fantastic job. Now, things got sketchy. You know, I've talked about it in the past, there was a period of time that speeds got really slow. When they kind of opened things up and there was just an influx of new users, when there wasn't that waiting list. I was on a nine month waiting list before getting SpaceX Starlink like 31 months ago, all right? A nine month waiting list. Now you can get it anywhere, you can get it at damn Costco. <laughs> Okay, so it is major at this point. It is a big deal. And what I see to be really big here is two things. Number one, latency is coming down from like 40, 50 milliseconds. It is down in the 30s. Now, Elon Musk has said in past presentations and in past videos that he wants to see the latency get below 20 milliseconds. Why is that? Well, he's a gamer. He likes Diablo 4, he likes other games. We know that first person shooters or any type of gaming, you need to have low latency. If not, you end up dead. And people are like wandering around like, why is this guy just standing around? And you're not really standing around, you're just that lagged as we call it. Same thing holds true when you're doing any kind of telemedicine or teleconferencing or anything. You need to have low latency so you can have communication that is on time, so to speak. The other thing is now increasing the speeds. We saw that the FCC said that, listen, to be dubbed or be called high speed or broadband, we need to see you at not only 100 plus megabits per second download, but we wanna see 20 plus megabits upload. And you need to have that sustained. It can't be like this all the damn time. And that has been the one big issue that I've had with SpaceX Starlink is that it is not consistent. It, right? It's getting there. It's a lot better. 
But let me share this speed with you. I just did a speed test just before starting this video. Check that out. 307.48 megabits down and 21.17 megabits up. And you can see the latency there of 35 milliseconds. I would like to see better and I'm sure <laughs> Elon would too, but I'm happy with that. The reason being is that type of download speed, I was only seeing that like just coming out of beta. At the very beginning, I was getting 300, 310, 320 megabits down. After that, never again. It went down to 200, then it went down to 180, 150, and then finally we were seeing like 90 to like 100, 110 megabits down. And the reason being is because of the influx of new users and it just simply couldn't handle it. The network couldn't handle it. Now we see that there's more satellites up there. The satellites that are up there are becoming almost the majority of version 2.0 minis. Now the 2.0 minis compared to the version 1.5s or the 1.0s are like 4X the capacity. They are faster and they can handle more data throughput. Once again, 4X, it's a big deal. Also, when we see the version threes, as I always call them the version two maxis, the full size version twos, I think they're gonna call them version threes at this point. But when we see them up there, when finally Starship stops blowing up, well, that's gonna be a major change because then latency is gonna come down and then also speeds are going to go up and the consistency, the reliability, all right, is going to go up massively in my personal opinion. Okay, because at that point, they're gonna have more data throughput available to it, and it's not going to be sitting at the cusp of breaking all the time, right? On a network, you don't want it to go over, let's say 70, 80% usage. You wanna have like a little bit of a buffer at the top. I wouldn't doubt there was times when SpaceX Starlink in certain nodes in certain areas were maxed out, and it was having to lower the speeds of everyone. As I always give the analogy of a pie, if you have a pie and the pie equals internet data and you have eight people over, well, that's fine. You cut the pie into eight pieces and everyone gets an equal portion. Well, what happens with two other guests show up unannounced? Well, now you have to cut that pie into 10 pieces. What happens? Everyone gets less pie. Hence, everyone gets less data. There's a finite amount of data. But once again, when the version threes get up there, the amount of data is gonna become more vast and you won't have to cut the pie so small and everyone getting smaller sections because you'll simply have more pie. <sighs> pie, I don't know where I'm going with this. Anyways, the upload speeds are also becoming better. I'm seeing here at that 21.17, that is nice. If we can see an above 20 megabits up continuously, right? we're doing good. But I'm getting some nights where we're seeing 10 and 12 and 15. We can't have that. Or I should say the FCC can't have that. The FCC wants 20 megabits up minimum. They're probably going to increase this, okay? Probably see 25, maybe even 30 in the not so distant future. So SpaceX is going to have to think about this going forward. They're going to have to be able to provide more or greater speeds on the upload speed. We can see that they can do a great download speed. Matter of fact, a friend of the show, a good friend, was showing me speeds going to the Bahamas that are unbelievable. Hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds megabits down. That is amazing in the middle of the ocean using SpaceX Starlink. I'll do a report on that probably by the end of this week, maybe next week. Really interesting stuff. Anyways, guys, I wanna hear from you. What do you think about all this? Do you think that things are just gonna get better? Do you think they're gonna get worse? What do you think about this 2.7 million customers? If it continues like that in four months, we're gonna see a breaking of 3 million customers out there. Definitely before the end of the year, there's going to be 3.2, maybe 3.5 million customers. That is a ton. That is a ton. What are you experiencing? Are your speeds getting better? Are they getting worse? Are they on par? What is going on with you? Down below in the comment area, I want to hear. This is very important. And everyone else that's watching this video, they want to hear too. So once again, go down into the comment area, leave a message. If you find information from someone there that helps you, say thank you. 
All right, the interaction that we have in the comments is very, very important. That's what grows this channel. Besides all the thumbs ups and the sharing and the liking and sharing with your community and everything else, I appreciate all that. But the comments, that interaction really is what forms this community. And the community is strong. We're getting close to 100,000 community members. That is amazing. 100,000 subscribers, I can't even believe it. Anyways guys, if you enjoyed this, throw the video a thumbs up, that'll be very helpful. And head over to my website, jchristina.com, where you can find all the photography tools I've invented for you and me over the many years and check out my merch and my teas and everything else. Pick something up, I would appreciate it. Many blessings to you and your family. Stay safe, stay healthy, stay connected, and we'll see you in the next one. Love you all.